it's your lucky day today because I just found you your new favorite tape measure. You see, I got a whole bunch of them right here. Maybe one or two that you already use and a few that I guarantee you've never seen before. But why would I do this, you ask? Because I'm a damn good person. A hero, a saint. All right, so how's this video going to work? Well, in this box, I got a bunch of tape measures that you all recommended from one company. Yeah, you say you like them a lot. You say they're real nice. Like. I literally get people yelling at me all the time when I bring other tape measures to the channel because they say these ones are so good. I got four of them. We'll look at each one individually and I'll tell you which one is my favorite out of all of them that you recommended. Then I'm gonna show you a couple new tape measures that you've never seen before and I think you're gonna think these are <laughs> real nice like as well. This is an honorable mention right here. We're gonna talk about this one first. Now this right here is the Dewalt 25 foot atomic tape measure. It's pretty new, I bought it last week. I'm gonna be honest with you, Nothing special about it. I mean, it's built pretty heavy duty. The standout, you're only looking about nine and a half feet. When I mean standout is I can stand this out like so, bring this out, and then when I do that, it's gonna you know, stand out. We're just talking about this because I have it, but what I recommend it, I mean, yeah, it's not a bad tape measure. It's just, again, nothing you know that really stands out about it. <laughs> the numbers are on here, they're half decent size. It'll do the job. It is what it is. But let me talk about the ones that everybody keeps bringing to my attention. I mean, that's really funny. <clears throat> All right, number one, Stanley. This is the 25 foot power lock. Now, this is like an old school tape measure that pretty much everybody has in their toolbox, in their garage, whatever. I guarantee old timers, somebody you know, they have one of these tape measures. Now, a lot of people love these things. Me personally, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're just basic. They don't do that much, but man, are they smooth. I mean, check that out. You know, I think that's why sometimes people just like old school. There's nothing fancy. You got the old metal case around here and it just does the job. But you know, the locking, look at that. Boom, 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 right there. It's just so simple to use. And as for how big this thing actually looks, it's really kind of super light. I had one of these years ago. I think I still have it. I just don't use it all that much, but looking at it again, I mean, I just really like the function of that and that's why so many people just go with these basic Stanley tape measures. Ah, you know what I'm saying. Now, this is sort of the updated version of what I just showed you. This is the Stanley Fat Max and again, it's the 25 foot, but instead of it being metal, this thing here is like that heavy duty polymer plastic. Now again, there's nothing special about this tape measure, but this is the number one requested tape measure on the channel or what people say they use. It's just a flawless, easy to use. I mean, look at that, how smooth that is right there. It's basically a classic. It even says classic right here. You got that locker right there, locking mechanism, and uh, you just open that up. And it's just one of those things you throw in your tool belt, you throw in your hip and you carry it around with you and it just works really, really well. A lot of people love this. Let, let's move it over to something a little bit cooler. Now, this is one that I guarantee a lot of you probably have. And if you're reaching, right? If you're, if you're going like that and so, and you need to attach to a metal stud or whatever, check out that magnet right there. I mean, that freaking magnet on the base of this thing here or the tip of this thing here, it is huge, very powerful. And you're able to put those on the metal studs or whatever you're trying to do. And if you don't have a friend like me, I don't have no friends. Ain't nobody helping me. I can just do it all by myself, it's fine. And really, it's the same 25 foot tape measure as the other Fat Maxes, except for it has that magnetic tip at the end right there. However, as basic and as easy as it is for those to be used in your hand, this right here is probably my new favorite tape measure, and I think you're gonna like it as well. Now, don't forget we got four new ones that you've never seen before, but this right here, I love this thing. This is the Stanley Fat Max the auto lock 25 foot tape measure. First time I've ever used this was a couple days ago and I'll be honest with you, when I used it, I was like, where have you been all of my life? So just like the other Fat Maxes, you got that solid bill, you got that plastic around here, but there's a really cool feature and that's right here, the locking mechanism. All I gotta do is I gotta pull that out and it's gonna stay out. It doesn't go back in, check that out. But if I hit that button right there, it goes in. It is a super easy to use smooth sliding tape measure. And again, it'll lock automatically for you. You push that button and it slides it right back in. Now, if I don't want to do that, I could just hold that button down, bring this out and then just you know, do what I need to do. Or if you're too lazy like myself and you don't want to hold that button down, you can just push it up. It locks in position and it'll go right back to like a classic Stanley Fat Max. If I want to use that locking position again, just push that down, boom, it stays open, push that button, real nice like. 
I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt. I mean, I really, really do like this tape measure. I like them all, but this right here, I I'm telling you, there's something special with this tape measure. I'll leave a link in the description below for all these, but this here is a very well-designed tape measure, and I like it a lot. Now, I do have four brand new tape measures that you've never seen before, and this is an actual popular brand. I mean, they sort of came out a couple years ago and just blew up the Lufkins. A lot of people love these. What did they just come out with? Well, let me show you. These right here are the brand new Lufkin Shock Force G2. I believe that stands for Generation 2. Four of them in this box right here. Let me show you which each one does. Now on front of the case right here, they'll say something different. This one here is your basic standard Shock Force. So all of these are 25 footers. I'll tell you, when you bring this out, it's not as smooth as a Stanley, but it does have a nice little snap back. So it pulls in pretty quick if you want. Feels great. But what's nice about this here is the tape thickness. So they added three layers on this tape right here. And what this allows you to do is really get some crazy standout. I'll tell you what, believe it or not, I get 12 feet before this thing will actually break. I'm at nine and a half and it's not even trying to bend here. 10 feet. 12 feet. I'm actually past 12 feet. I'm at 12 and a half. Man, I'm past 12 and a half. 13. But here's where this stands out. <laughs> I just did it again. It's funny. This is where it stands out. You got 13 feet of stand out on this thing. That blade is super thick and it's not resting on anything. Look at that. I am out six and a half feet. So if you have no friends like me, you can take this and just start bringing it out and measuring what you need to measure. And again, 13 feet I'm getting on stand out and it'll just hang there. It's crazy. Now, what I like about this is not only can you read the numbers on the one side, you can read them on the back side as well. And the numbering, very large on this. So if you have trouble seeing, this is going to help you. And by the way, they claim that you can drop these at 120 feet and they'll survive on you. Hence the shock force. Okay, well, let's look at another one. This right here is the Lufkin 25 foot magnetic. Now, just like the Stanley, this one has a big old magnet right in the front. Now the magnet on this is pretty big, but definitely not as big as the one on the Stanley. However, they both are very, very strong and it definitely comes in to help you if you don't have any friends to come in and help you. Hold up. This right here is the new Lovekin Shock Force G2. It's the Night Eye. And what's cool about this here is if it's dark, if you're working under your vehicle, or if you're in a whatever area that just don't have some good lighting, this right here, you got that Night Eye. You got that green coloring. Again, very large letters on the back, on the front. It's gonna help you see those numbers a lot better than what you would if you were using a conventional tape. Again, 13 feet of standout on every single one of these tape measures. These things are very solid. Look at that. Look at the bending right there. All day long, if I go back the other way, no worries, no worries, no worries. Goes right back. And again, the only thing really different between this and all the other ones is it's the night eye, and it's gonna help you see a little bit better in the dark areas. And finally, the last one from Lufkin that was just announced here. This one here is a little bit different. You know, you got a little bit different front end. It's a little bit bulkier, but what's really cool about this is it works sort of the same way as the Stanley where it'll come out, stay out, and then if I wanna bring that in, I just do that and it brings it in. What's cool here is you got a couple teeth right up in the front. You can see basically when I pull this back, those teeth loosen up and it brings that tape back in. Now, as cool as I think that isn't all, there's one little issue with the new Lufkin compared to the Stanley. Now, what I had done showing you was on the Stanley, if I didn't want this thing to lock on me, I could take it off by simply pushing up on this and then to engage it again, just bring that down and it'll work. The Lufkin, however, does not have that feature. It's always going to lock on you no matter how much you end up pushing back on this thing. There's just no, I guess, safety on there preventer or whatever you want to call it to stop it from locking into place. So it's always on that mode. I like that they added it to that feature. So if you're a fan of Lufkin, you now have that option to use this. And I think it's a great option. However, I wish you could shut that off if you wanted to. So as much as I love these new Lufkins, what do I think? Which one's my favorite? Well, I've already sort of mentioned it. 
The Stanley Fat Max, even though it doesn't have that standout, you're only looking about nine feet for the Fat Max. This right here, I love this feature. I love that you can shut it off. The auto lock on this thing works amazing. And what I've never really noticed on the Stanleys, like others have mentioned, is just how smooth these things are. It's just crazy freaking awesome. I do wish they had those big jumbo letters like the Lufkin has, but other than that, this is a really good tape measure, and I think this is probably my new favorite out of all of them that I have. So I know there's a lot of you out there that said that the Stanley is the best, but there's a lot of you out there that probably don't feel that way. What do you think? Do you like the Lufkins? Do you like the Stanleys? Or is it a Milwaukee? What tape measure do you like? I really want to know. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll bring it to the channel and I'll see if they're any good. You also like that video right there. I think it's there. It's right here. There. We'll be back with more videos soon.